Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a review and demo on the new Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation and the concealer. It's the uh, Superstay Better Skin Concealer. I picked these up at my Walmart. I was kind of surprised because usually my Walmart don't always, um, don't always have the new products and everything, so I was kind of surprised that these were there. But um, I got number 20 Classic Ivory in my foundation, which I do believe my other Maybelline is Classic Ivory. I'll show the other one, the Fit Me, um, to this one here. And the concealer is in light. I got it in light. I don't know if there was fair or not. I'm trying to remember now if there was fair because in my studio, Master Studio one or something, concealer, I do have that in fair. And I use it a lot of times to um, lighten up a little bit more under here. Okay, so um, I wanted to pull out my Fit Me uh, Dewy Smooth. That's the one I have. Um, it's the one for normal to dry. And it's in Ivory, 115 Ivory. I didn't realize that until just now because I was kind of wondering um, both of them seem to work fine for my complexion. I mean, they they both seem to work fine. I've never had a problem with the other one that's just ivory, but I don't find it too light. I don't notice it anyway. Um, okay, so this one here is um, Super Stay Better Skin. I never tried any of the Super Stay Maybellines. As a matter of fact, I've never tried any Maybelline foundation until the Fit Me. I've tried lots of their concealers. But for foundations, I've never tried any of them. And the Fit Me one I've always wanted to try. And the matte version came out. And I had thought about getting that and I thought, no, why? But I want to get that because I do have combination and dry skin. I, I like the dewy, dewy look, kind of. So um, that's why I picked uh, the dewy and smooth one, which that's what they're calling it now. But um, it's, it's not different from the original Fit Me. They're just calling it Dewy Smooth now. Um, it's just a new look is all it says on here. Okay, so the Super Stay Better Skin, um, it's a skin transforming foundation. It has titanium dioxide, sunscreen, broad spectrum of SPF of 15, and, um, and it's oil free. It has on here, it's oil free. Okay, so I'm on Ulta.com and I'm going to read you what it has on here and what it pretty much claims to do and, and what it does do. Uh, it says Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation gives an all day flawless coverage and better looking skin in three weeks. The foundation reduces the appearance of spots, bumps, dullness, and redness and gives you a brighter, more even and smoother skin. So that's a lot to actually claim and say that it does. Um, okay, so the benefits. It's an all-day flawless coverage and better looking skin in three weeks. Okay, it's long wear that improves the skin every minute you're in it. With the antioxidant power of actual C, I believe, a more durable form of vitamin C. So it's a, I guess it's a more durable vitamin C. Not very good with knowing scientific things right now. I'm trying to learn a little more though. Uh, it's for all skin types and it's a medium to full coverage. I do agree on the medium full coverage because that's what I'm finding for myself whenever I'm putting it on. It is of a medium to full coverage. Um, you can obviously build it up. Um, and it is more thicker than the Fit Me, which I will show here in a moment. It does retail on Ulta for $11.99. Um, and in Walmart, I believe it's like $10, about a dollar difference there. So. Um, so that's what it's saying for this here. Okay, so on the concealer part, it has Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer is a two-in-one targeted concealer and corrector. With the Actyl C, an ingredient known for its antioxidant benefits, uh, the concealer instantly provides all-day flawless co correction and visibly reduces the appearance of dark circles, spots, and imperfections in just three weeks. Um, with the antioxidant power, power of the Actyl C, a more durable form of vitamin C, it's for all skin types and it does give medium to full coverage. 
Again, I will agree on the medium to full coverage for the concealer. I do find it does cover, um, which you will see between the two of them, um, how how well they both cover for me um, in, you know, like um, under the eyes, just, you know, like on the face and everything. Um, as in like better for the skin thing, I'm not... I, I don't know if I really noticed that because I use pretty pretty crazy hardcore skincare sometimes and like I do use a vitamin C um, I do you you know I use some oils and everything so I don't really know if I can actually say I, I, I don't I can't say that I found it to majorly improve my skin over time because I'm not I'm not really noticing a huge difference. I do notice my skin has improved, but I'm using other skincare. I'm using different I'm using different products and some of them products I think are the ones that are giving me my better skin. Um, now do I think it goes on nice and makes my makes me look like I'm not wearing foundation? Yes, I do believe it makes me look a little more flawless and looks like I'm not really wearing foundation or it's not noticeable. It's not cakey for me. Um, I don't notice the cakiness anyway, even though it is thicker than the Fit Me. Um, this one here, I would say it's not matte, but it's definitely not dewy. I would say it's like in between. I guess, do they call it a satin matte or... Um, some kind of finish like that. I, I'm not seeing it being real, like, I mean, it can give a little, a little dewiness to it, a little bit, but it's not like the Fit Me Dewy Smooth, where it really gives you more of a luminous, dewy finish. I guess that's what I want to say. This gives a little bit of dewiness, but not the dewy, luminous kind of thing that the Fit Me one gives. Um, but I do find it really wears really well on me. And I have been really liking it a lot. Um, being as it's thicker, I might think more on using this probably more in the winter time because the one thing I am finding is since it is thicker, like I I really prefer more like I do prefer more like my maybe my Fit Me foundation, something a little less lighter feeling and texture texture. Um, and I do like my CC creams and things like that, but I do like to play around with foundations, obviously, and I still play around with them in the winter, or in the summertime, springtime and summertime, and I will wear them, like it has been a little more cooler, so I feel like I've been able to get away with it more, but yeah, when it gets more warm and hot and humid, sometimes for me, um, I do prefer more of still the lighter, um, foundation, or a CC or BB cream, something in that reference, or tinted moisturizer, maybe that's really a good tinted moisturizer that gives me some coverage, and then I just put my um, either Laura, Laura Geller Balance and Brighten on, or I will put on the Pure Minerals 4-in-1. Those are the two I seem to like to add just a little more extra something something. Um, so for this, I do really like it. And would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend this foundation because it is for all skin types. Um, I really don't feel like, I don't feel like somebody with dry skin is going to have a problem with this. I haven't noticed it catching on, but I have been really moisturizing my, my face. I have, I mean, that's the most important thing. If you don't take care of your skin, um, then your makeup is not going to go on the way you're going to want it to. And it, it, you are going to have... Um, problems with the uh, foundations or any of that kind of stuff so no matter what really if you don't take care of your, care of your skin any of these products are not going to work as how you want them to for the most part so and then for oily skin I don't find it to be I don't think it's going to cause a huge problem um, I probably wouldn't put a whole lot on for somebody with oily skin but I don't know I just don't find it would be that much of a problem um, but everybody's different so yeah keep that in mind if you're somebody with oily skin and you have major sensitivity and problems maybe I would say hold off on this one and go to the fit me one 
if you're somebody that has some some oily skin and it's not to the extreme then I would say go ahead and give it a try I'd say it's worth it just to see how well it does work I mean you know that's the only way you're really gonna know is if you try it so and then for the concealer I highly would definitely recommend this one to anybody anybody and everybody this is a very moisturizing nourishing it's very um, very nice for under the eyes I really like it but Maybelline has never failed me yet on any of their concealers. Every concealer I have tried from them so far, I've been happy with, and none of them have disappointed me or not worked for me. So I really like this one. This is another one. Um, it has the doe foot applicator on it, um, and it's very, very smooth and very creamy right there. It is, and it just goes on real nice on the skin, and it does cover very nice. So I, I really do like that. And then the foundation, the foundation, what I love for this one is there is a pump compared to the Fit Me with no pump. So, of course, I prefer my pump. But um, it's not a deal breaker. It's just I do prefer a pump. So here it is here. You're going to see. I did have a full tab come out. So that's probably too much. But um, that's how thick it is. So it, it is more thicker than the other. I'm going to put over this area here. That mark that you always see me have, that birthmarky or whatever, my not my birthmark, but one of my one of my moles. Who am I kidding? So it brought down here. So it covers real nice. And that's how it looks. It's thick. So you can see it is thick. See? I'll do one of Susie's. See? <laughs> I'm gonna kick out her when she does that little Susie. Or little Susie of uh, Clancy. Of course, as most of you know, which I'm going to have to be careful, the Maybelline Fit Me is more runny. See, because you can actually already see it, in it run there. Or the other one, I didn't have to worry about that. And then the Maybelline Fit Me coverage. So there's the Maybelline. There, see how it does the wet dewiness? That's the dewy finish of the Fit Me. Where this one here, it doesn't really give, it's not matte, but it's not like, you know, real dewy. It's just, it's, it's just nice. I like to use the Master Pro, the Primer from Maybelline. This one is the Illuminating one, Blur and Illuminate in 200. I haven't tried some of the other ones um, yet. I might see what the other ones are, but again, I like my Illumination and Illuminating dewiness, so I did get the Illuminate, Blur and Illuminate one, and that's what I used as my primer, and this is a really nice primer. Definitely recommend this primer. You'll see in the video, I used my Expert brush from uh, Real Techniques, and then I used my Soho uh, beauty spongy thingy here. I used it on one side, and this on the other side, I applied them. So that's what you'll be seeing with the video. Anyway, beauties, we'll go ahead and go to the video where you can see me demonstrating on me applying the foundation concealer, and then we'll be right back. First, I'm going to use the beauty, well, the Soho blender of their beauty blender version. I'm going to do use it first on one side. It would help if I had, would help if I had a mirror. I need to invest in so many things. Not even funny. We're going to go ahead and pat that in. Sometimes I like to roll it, as some 
talk about doing with their beauty blenders and stuff. Bring it down, go around the ear. I've never tried the real beauty blender, so I can't compare this. <clears throat> I can't compare this to it. One coat. Compared to nothing on this side yet. Primers on this side, but like no foundation or anything. And then compared to this side. So it does do pretty good coverage. And this time I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush that I like to use. This one here, the um, Expert brush. So this one here. Of course, get your ear. Not sure if I'm really seeing much of a difference. Maybe the blender a little bit better. Okay, this uh, this side uh, here is the brush side. That's the brush side, and this side's the I don't know. Probably with my lighting, you're not gonna be able to tell. Yeah, you might not be able to tell. I'm really liking the concealer, so I'm going to put that on. Get you up and close. Don't worry, folks. One day, this chick will get a better camera, better lighting. And one day. When? I don't know. But one day. I'm going to go ahead and just use this to pat it in. Now, from what I've gathered from this um, concealer is, now mine's in light, and it is perfect for me for lighting, lighting it up, like highlighting or lightening it up a little bit more, I guess. Is that the word I'm looking for? It's very moisturizing. I do you think it's a a nice concealer, which, if you can see, this eye compared to this one right now, it does cover pretty nice. Um, it does cover the darkness somewhat pretty good, because this one here has a not a thing. So, but... I feel with Maybelline and their concealers, especially, never seem to um, disappoint me. I do really like them a lot. It does a very nice coverage. The coloring is very good for me and that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting on the rest of my makeup and doing all that stuff. Alright beauty, so that is my thoughts and my demonstration and everything and a review on the new foundation from Maybelline. The I keep waiting for your name. The Super Stay Better Skin. Where it's true when you're getting older your mind just goes. So that's my review and demo on those. Um, out of a rating from 1 to 10 for the foundation, I'm going to give it an 8. Um, I'm not ditching it for two points because I don't think it's a good foundation. I think it's a really good foundation. Um, for me, a foundation, for me to give it a 10, obviously would have to be something that probably knocks me out of the water and like, you know, is like, wow, that thing 
is amazing or something. It would just that's what would ha I would have to give a ten. So I'm going to give it an eight, and I feel that's a fair fair thing um, for this foundation. For the concealer, I really really enjoyed the concealer very much. Um, and as I said, Maybelline has not disappointed me yet with their concealers. And for any beauties out there who love the Maybelline concealers, I'm sure you'll feel the same way because I know a lot of you guys. Uh, that I watch and uh, you watch me, vice versa, whatever, you guys seem to like a lot of Maybelline um, concealers too when it comes to drugstore concealers. So I feel the same for you guys. And I'm actually going to give this a 9 though. This I'm going to give a 9 because I really enjoyed it very much and I found it very moisturizing under the eyes So and the coverage was really good. So I really like that. Alright, so beauties, I hope you guys found that very helpful. Um, you know, me demonstrating it and uh, kind of giving you an idea of my review. Um, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would so much appreciate it very, very much. And um, yeah, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, um, I do videos each week. I would love to have you. You can come and join me. So go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Why does that say button? So, gosh, I can't talk. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And you, like I said, can join me each week. And, um, you know the drill. As always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. We all have to remind ourselves that sometimes, and even my own self, I have to remind myself a lot of times that, you know, some things don't work out. Um, sometimes we have those bad days. Um, sometimes, you know, just things aren't going the way we want them to, and that's just life in general. But somewhere along the line, we have to overcome all of that and, you know, just keep reminding ourselves about just taking life as it is and just be yourself and just loving yourself and just go with the whole flow. And um, a lot of times, sometimes the better things come ahead, so I have to do that to my own self too. Life is not perfect, so. Anyway, beauties, I want to thank everybody so very much for your support. I really appreciate it very, very much. Um, I want to say thank you to all my older subscribers and my new subscribers so much. Uh, welcome every single one of you. I'm glad you're sticking with me, and I hope you continue to stick with me. And I hope I can keep continuing on with this journey on my channel. So thank you very much. I love you guys so very much. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. So y'all take care, and until then, bye-bye everybody, love y'all, bye-bye.